Welcome back to Riding Blind Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at one of the world's most popular scooters, the Carbo Wolf Warrior 2. Starting down at the front of the scooter, as we always do, you can see that the front wheel is very large, has an off-road tyre, it's an 11 by 4 inch tyre on there. That's great for off-roading and that kind of rough terrain with those big chunky tread on that tyre. Housed within the tyre is a 1200 watt motor, 1200 at the front and 1200 at the back, so 2400 watt nominal. The Wolf Warrior 2 boasts 160 mil discs, so a lot of scooters have 140s or 145s, but this gives it extra braking power. From the discs and the brakes, we come up to the twin forks. It's that classic Carbo Wolf Warrior design, very stable. A lot of riders like that twin fork design. As you can see, we've got two spring forks here on the suspension, making it comfortable, along with two springs on the back. We'll have a look at them in a minute. Moving in from the suspension, we get to the fender. Very large, very robust fender here. It's going to stop all that muck coming and covering you whilst you're riding, especially off-roading. You've got a huge clearance here between fender and wheel. So that allows the forks to go up and down, but also it means it's not going to bottom out when you are going over that bumpy terrain. From the fender, we come back and you can see we've got the stem here, and then down here on the front arms, inside that is housed the folding mechanism. Now how that works is you lift the latch, lift the black screw out from its, where it's located behind, and then take the safety pin out and the front wheel kicks all the way up. That makes the scooter longer when you folded it to allow it to fold down. The whole front wheel pivots at this point here, lifts up, so it goes from about 1.25 meters to 1.5 meters when it's folded. Down from the folding mechanism, we come to the deck. We've got these two headlights here. We have some on the front, we'll look at them in a minute. There's some lower down headlights here just to give some extra lighting in the dark. Running along the deck, we've got the LED strips here in blue, as you can see, again, just increasing visibility. And on the deck itself, we've got this huge rubber mat, anti-slip, Kabu logo on there, or Carbo, depending on how you say it. Very comfortable, very wide. This is a big scooter. It looks big, very good for balance and stability. Housed under this is the battery. We've got a 60 volt, 35 amp hour battery, so very big battery. Samsung 18650 cells, a high quality battery as well. That's powered by two 40 amp mini motors controllers. So that, along with the two 1200 watt motors, is gonna give some serious power. Coming down the tubular frame, we get round to the back here, and this huge grip handle, which is really useful when you're picking up a scooter that weighs 47 kilos. We said it's a big scooter, it's a big lump, very stable, but at the same time, very heavy. So that industrial grip there is gonna really help out if you do ever need to lift the scooter up. Under that here, Built into this fender is a footrest. So although we've got a huge deck, a lot of people like to ride with their foot resting back like that. Also protects you from hitting the fender or the rear motor. So that's a nice safety feature as well and it makes the deck even bigger. Built into the rear fender is the light. So when the lights are on, you can see there, we've got a nice rear red light. And when I press the brake, that intensifies. Not sure if you can see from that angle, but there, when I press it, the light intensifies letting anyone know that you're braking. Moving down the swing arms here, very chunky swing arms. We've got the twin coils under here, which is the classic of Wolf Warrior suspension. Same on the X, same on the King, which is two coils, the damper in between, and that's just making sure that you're not smacking down when you are going over bumps. It's just dampening that, making it a lot more comfortable when you're riding. Down the swing arms, we come to the calipers. You've got the Zoom hydraulic brake calipers, much the same as the front. And again, the 1200 watt motor, housed within that 4x11, 11 by 4 inch off-road tire. Now you can have slick tires on these as well, but they come standard generally with off-roads. People seem to love the Wolf Warrior for its dirt riding. From the back of the scooter, we're gonna move all the way back down to the front, past the battery, the deck. A battery that size, we should mention, they claim can go up to 100 miles in eco mode, but that's probably sort of 10, 12 miles an hour, 70 kg rider, very flat, they were ground, warm day. But we are gonna put it to the test. And they're also saying that it gives enough power for those motors to reach speeds of up to 50 miles an hour, maybe even more. Again, we're gonna put that to the test. So, we go past the folding mechanism here, to this big chunky head, up here to the horn. Now, Carbo also famous for having a very loud horn. It's a horrible noise, I'm gonna try out. I haven't tried this one yet. Oh my God, that's loud. But what's the point of having a horn if it's not gonna let people know that you're coming? 
Above the horn, we've got the two headlights. These are used on all of the Wolf Warrior models, the X, the Two, and the King. Very bright, very high visibility in the dark. Coming up from the forks, we get to the handlebars. We've got the nice ergonomically designed handle grips here, which are really comfortable. In from them, we've got the brake leaders. We've talked about these already. They're the Zoom hydraulic disc brakes. They're very comfortable, two finger brakes, nice to put on. We've told you that they make the lights um, intensify when you put them on, letting people know that you're behind them at night, or even in the day, they're pretty bright, you can see them. But also, they cut the motors. It's a really good safety feature on these scooters. So if you've got your finger on the trigger and you hit the brakes, it will cut the motors. It's, a, it's an excellent safety feature, so you're not just continually accelerating through that braking. Also, there's an ABS function in here, which is obviously controlled through the display, but activates when you press the brakes. So that assists you with the braking and the reject. Additionally, what you can do in the display is you can set your one, two, or three mode, which is a speed limiter effectively. You can flick through so you can see the voltage, your trip distance, and all that kind of thing on the front. Also, if you go into the P settings, like I just said, you can select your ABS level, you can set your power settings, you can do your cruise control, soft start, all that type of thing. So it's a very, very customizable display. Really nice and comfortable. Moving down from that is the Eco Turbo button and the single dual button. Eco Turbo, get, uh, Turbo again is like a speed limiter, just takes everything down a notch. And the single dual button obviously selects between going single rear motor only or both motors at the same time when you want that extra power. Moving on from this area and the mini motors I display, we come over to this side of the scooter. Now this controls the lights. This button is for the headlights and the base lights, but not the LED lights. The LED lights are controlled by a button just down under the side of the scooter, which is next to the charge ports. Now those two charge ports if you use a fast charger 4 amp and a normal charger 2 amp, that can charge that big battery in about five to six hours. So it's a very, very fast charging time. With a single charger, it's only 2 amp, it's probably more like 15, 16 hours. So it's always worth getting those two chargers to really cut that time down. Now, we tried the horn earlier. I'm going to do it again just to show you there's the bus oh, noise, but a really good horn on these scooters. So we've taken a look at all the features and functionality of this scooter in the studio, had a really in-depth look at it, and now we're gonna take it out. So we're here at the airstrip. We've got 600 meters to get this Wolf Warrior to its top speed. Let's see what it can do. One, go. <laughs> So, results are in with a 73 kg rider, probably 80 kg with all of his gear on. We got 48 mile an hour on the Wolf Warrior over 600 meters. Now, that might have improved if we'd had a longer trap, but we don't. So, 48 mile per hour top speed. So, we've taken a look at the Wolf Warrior 2 in the studio, and now we've got it out on the trails to put it through its paces. The ground's pretty wet today, but it's a lovely day, so I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of fun. So I'm riding in dual motor, definitely a lot of power there, much like the dual Tron Thunder, that kind of power. Initial impressions, it's pretty comfortable, a little bounce on the back, I can hear a tap, slight tap off the fender, but other than that, the dual stem seems solid, secure, the terrain's very bumpy and a little bit wet, but it feels no problem at all for the Wolf Warrior at the moment. Look, we're going through a lot of quite thick mud now, it's flashing up on me, but the motors are handling it pretty easily. The scooter feels very solid, very sturdy, pretty heavy. Just trying to lift the front wheel there. It's quite a heavy one. But these motors, I'm still in dual, are handling this hill sort of loose section very, very easily. I'm almost having to ease off the throttle actually, in dual motor, just to keep at a steady speed. I've got off-road tires on, which is great for today. But if you like riding harder, flatter ground, then you can put all different types of tires on these so you can get hard ground tires as well. So we're on this mushy, mushy, loose, Horrible ground, but as I was saying, these off-road tires are coping with it really well. I don't feel like I'm sliding out at all. At the same time, I've got enough power to be pulling me right up the hill. So out onto some slightly drier terrain now, which makes life a little bit easier. Comparatively to the Wolf X that we've been on as well, there's more power here. It's heavier, it's bigger, but there's definitely more power. I think it's sturdier as well, a similar angle where you're kind of over the front wheel a little bit. I prefer a slightly more raked back angle when I'm riding. 
but actually it's very very comfortable we're getting very wet here very wet having to really maneuver so it handles that pretty well we're doing tight tight little turns i know we're not racing or anything quite tight little turns on a big machine it is a big lump but it is handling it with ease we're going to start upping the speed in a minute to see how far we can push it there's a rattle coming off the back there i think it's the fender just tapping really trying to keep in control it's quite a technical track it doesn't maybe look it on the camera but there's loads of bumps big flint sticking out lots of wet debris on the floor it's fairly comfortable the suspension's pretty good i mean this is a popular scooter and it has been known as an off-road scooter for quite some time i think i might make some amendments if i got one myself just try and really soften out the rear somehow but what it does have is incredible acceleration as you're about to see look i put my finger down here we go it just goes okay so now we're going to do the acceleration test i'm in dual motor i've got about 75 percent battery 80 percent battery so possibly going to be a bit slower than it could with 100 but i'm going to go full throttle hopefully both wheels are going to spin and we're going to see how fast we can get three two one off we go So we're carrying on this harder terrain now. We're going to look a little bit at braking. You can get mechanical brakes or hydraulic brakes, but the Wolf comes with uh, hydraulic disc brakes, Zoom brakes. A lot of people like Magura's, Nut. Zoom is sometimes seen as the cheaper option, but they've always been good for us. So I'm going to give you an idea of how we come to a stop. So I'm going 21 mile per hour now. And I'm coming to a stop now. really quick really quick they bit extremely well the tires biting onto the ground help to be honest but you've got those nice big rims there 160s rather than 145s and those hydraulic brakes obviously they're brand new but they stop me immediately so you feel very safe when you're riding on this scooter so testing it a bit off road now we've come off the trails onto the bumpy long grass handling it well the tires are gripping it's very wet underfoot you can't see that but there's tons of mud underneath the wheels and it's biting really well. I'm in dual motor, which is quite nice. Single might be a little bit easier to do. Bit of dry and then back into the wet again. Whoa, nearly skidded off there. Back out, sliding along, it's very thick. Suspension's doing its job, making it, whoa, the back's just sliding around. You just gotta let it pick the line. You can't try and turn it off the line. Like when you're going through sand, things like that. Snow, on a snowboard, you just gotta let it go where it wants to go. Try and ease it round. Touch the brakes and you skid out. The tires are helping a lot, those knobbly tires are really keeping it nice and solid. And then, come back out onto the hard ground and off we go! Now we're testing the Wolf's maneuverability, robustness on single track trails the moment i can still hear that flapping at the back but it's handling these tight little turns and very slippery sections really really well i'm using single motor now so i'm trying not to lose too much traction still climbing these single tracks into dual now as we're going uphill just biting a bit more but you can feel with the jaw it does slide whoa it's a really <laughs> foot comes off going up big roots now testing the suspension out pretty maneuverable for a big lump of a scooter here we go a really big route so we've been ripping around on the wolf warrior 2 for quite some time now i'm starting to really like it we're on a much harder trail now which is allowing much more speed but generally the ride has been good for an off-road scooter i think there are better ones with better suspension out there what i love about this is the dual stem really stable but like i said Possibly better suspension would make it a more comfortable ride. The deck size is nice. The brakes are good. We've got Zoom hydraulics on here. So much power. Um, this is the 60 volt, obviously, same as the, the Wolf X, um, but it does feel more powerful than the Wolf X. Obviously, the motors are bigger, two 1200s on this. We're going to go and test the King as well, which has got the 1572 volt battery. We'll see what that's like. But all in all, I've really enjoyed this scooter. Great fun very stable very sturdy and in challenging conditions obviously now we're flying along in the dry but when we've been in the wet it handled it really really well 
So that ends the session on the Wolf Warrior 2. It's been great fun. It's a really powerful, really hardcore scooter. If you like what you saw, like the video, subscribe to our channel. Come down to Ride and Glide, have a go on one yourself. We've got demos in stock. If you want more information, go to www.rideandglide.co.uk. Give us a call, send us a live chat, get us on email. We are always available to help. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.